Welcome back everybody. In this video we're going to be discussing user-defined variables. And this is one of the kinds of variables that MySQL has. I think there's actually four different kinds. But just to get started we're going to start with this and maybe after we get over all the good main stuff we'll go back and go over in more detail all these different things. But just for now I just want to get on to what's important. So user-defined variables they are a type of variable that have a very small scope. So whenever you study variables, I can guarantee you this word will come up. It talks about the lifetime of the variable. So when you make one of these user-defined variables, it doesn't last for eternity. It's not like a table or a database in your database management system. It's just within your, I guess you could say, your client the place where you're typing your SQL commands, whether it be the terminal or whatever, the lifetime is that session. So if you open your MySQL terminal and then you create this variable and then you do some commands and then you X out of it, well then that variable no longer exists. You can't reopen it and reference that variable. So different variables have different scopes. This one is a session scope. There's two more terms you're going to need to know, and that's declare and initialize. Essentially, declaring a variable is telling MySQL, hey, here's this variable. I don't exactly know what the data is going to be inside of this variable. I just know that this variable needs to exist because I'm going to use it in the future. Initializing is when you give that variable a value. So you can actually do this both at the same time. You can declare and initialize a variable at this in one statement. And that's usually what we're going to do. I just want you guys to be clear that when you're studying this, there's a difference between declaring a variable and initializing the variable. And if you're not clear on the difference, you can come up with some weird bugs in your SQL statements or whatever because you might be trying to use a variable that needs to be initialized, but it's only been declared and so forth. So now, enough of this vocabulary garbage. <laughs> Let's get on to the MySQL syntax for declaring a variable. Making a variable is super easy. All you gotta use is the set keyword. Oh, Onyx, did you fart? Oh, Aaron, was that you? <laughs> set. <laughs> and then you put an at sign, and then whatever the name of your variable is going to be. That's all you got to do. Set the variable name and then the value. We just initialized this variable and now we can use it in all of our other SQL statements. So that's all for you guys. Thanks for watching this series. I'll see you guys in the next one. Ha! I'm kidding. It's not over yet. <laughs> for now, we're just going to go over a little bit more theory in the next couple of videos and then we'll start getting on the computer and typing some junk out and making some cool SQL scripts. <laughs> But for now, memorize the syntax. Set, at sign, variable name, no space there, equals value. Semicolon is optional if you only have one statement. But you probably have more if you're declaring a variable. See you guys in the next video. Be sure to subscribe.